the freeway right now look there's a helicopter over there you guys probably you guys probably got something to do I want to just take a picture of the COVID-19 sign I'm not supposed to stay at home it was recommended yeah no I'm documenting everything okay I get that I, I, I get that no I do know who my governor is so what did he order on Thursday night nothing a, a safer at home and it, it says that you still You're should go out, media, you, you should still go out, you should still go out, and you should stay away from people six feet. To do essential business. And I am. Like I'm documenting going what's going on. I'm documenting or what's going, going on because at the end, office. at the end of the day, when people forget, photography won't. So I'm documenting what's going on. Dude, no one's even looking at your photos. Doesn't even matter. Those of you that know me, we're not going to stay educational for long. Uh, uh, if people aren't paying attention to this. Police Chief Eddie Garcia read from a list of 56 non-essential businesses his officers found that have stayed open in violation of health department orders to shut down to slow the spread of coronavirus. Two clothing stores, nine hair salons, six barber shops, eight smoke shops, two flower shops, three gyms, one sporting goods store, one video game store, one billiards hall, one gun store, one recycling center, one furniture store, one flea market, and one car wash. Essential businesses that can stay open are places like grocery stores, laundromats, auto repair shops, and drive through restaurants, but not vape shops like this one we found still open today. San Jose Mayor Sam Licardo urged neighbors to turn in violators to 311. Yes, we're going to depend on the public, and no, it's not snitching. It's simply informing authorities to ensure that we can all be safe. The USNS Mercy that arrived here in San Pedro. Uh, in Los Angeles port this morning uh, for putting together a remarkable operation in a remarkably short period of time. Uh, these men and women were quite literally called up a few days ago, came from hospitals all over the state of California and the region and came together under the order uh, of President Donald Trump. And I want to just thank the President personally on behalf of a grateful region, on behalf of a grateful state uh, for sending this ship uh, and the incredible resources uh, that reside within this ship to the state of California. Could not have happened soon enough and it would not simply have happened without his support and leadership. The fact that we are able to turn this around in a few days is a demonstrable example of leadership at every level of government. We're really excited today to have the California National Guard. They were deployed uh, to Sacramento Food Bank and Family Services yesterday. And our primary mission together is to try to ramp up our operations to support the entire community and help all those affected by COVID-19. This week has shown uh, how incredible our partnerships with our local community can be working within our state emergency management structure. But being here tip of the spear with a food bank 
uh, that needed help. Um, and for us to quickly assemble and join hands with them to get the mission done just shows the power of what we can do together. Donald Trump sends broken ventilators to Blue State. Yesterday, Donald Trump publicly admitted that he's letting people in Michigan and Washington die because he doesn't like their Democratic governors. Earlier today, Trump threatened to quarantine New York City, which he literally can't even do, in an apparent attempt at revenge against a city that rejected him. Now it turns out, Trump has sent hundreds of ventilators to the blue state of California, broken ventilators. Fortunately, California Governor Gavin Newsom has partnered with fuel cell company Bloom Energy to get the ventilators repaired, and they'll apparently all be ready for use by Monday. Newsom said, There was a casual conversation about the 170 ventilators that came from the national stockpile directly to L.A. County. Uh, the conversation wasn't just about those 170. It was about the fact those 170 were not working. Uh, and rather than lamenting about it, rather than complaining about it, rather than pointing fingers, rather than generating headlines in order to generate more stress and anxiety, uh, we got a car and a truck and we had those 170 brought here to this facility at 8 a.m. this morning and they are quite literally working on those ventilators right now and Monday they'll have those ventilators back into Los Angeles all fixed. That's the spirit of California, that's the spirit of this moment. Take responsibility, take ownership.